Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and this is a kind of a combination video. It's a, a Lego haul video. It's also a Lego modification video to the uh, Lego Ideas Sesame Street um, set that I've got. And also I thought while I was at it, once I open these uh, boxes and show you what's inside, I thought I would show you what exactly I do with them because I bought quite a few. So without further ado, I'm going to open up the small parcel, show you what it is and uh, what it's for. Um, and then hopefully, if everything's right, I shall put it into this uh, model of Sesame Street and show you uh, why I've got it and then move on to the next thing. So this is a small haul from uh, Bricklink and I've got some panels and tall bricks. There's my panel. There's my tall brick and smaller tall bricks. A couple of plates here and there and some random uh, uh, clear element that I like to collect. So that's nothing to do with this. And uh, the plan is because Elmo's room uh, goes straight towards the uh, entrance and he has no privacy I've decided to do a, a slight modification and kind of build a wall uh, to give him some privacy. So without further ado, I'm going to pause the video, take the top half of this off, build this and then show you what I've done. Just to give you some idea in case you have a similar idea um, if you buy this set. Okay, so I've managed to fiddle around with it. I made a mistake. I, I didn't take into account this uh, 16 long beam, so I had to uh, ditch this and with some spare parts and uh, plates, I had to make a couple of little features. So, for example, um, I've added a couple of lights because what I ended up with is making things up with... Where is it? Um... Yeah, making things up with things like this. So rather than having exposed studs, I decided I would uh, add a couple of lights there. I was a plate short. I only had one of those uh, two by one plates with bar. So I decided that Elmo could have um, basically a little banner, uh, banner hanging from the wall, just as a feature. And then I've uh, tiled off the top. So... Um, if I put the uh, the bedroom back in, if I can, I might have to uh, pause the video again for this, and that, that's what I'll do. I'll pause this, and then I can show you uh, it finished. So this is uh, Elmo's room complete. The wall's in place. It matches with everything else. I know it's a bit plain, but... Uh, uh, maybe I could uh, figure out um, some way of decorating it, but for now it looks more finished than it did before If I slide my tablet along you can see the corridor with the uh, Lights sorry, it's not focusing and you've got uh, the entrance there the doors don't swing into uh, Elmo's room Everything else is as it should be so uh, basically Sorry about the camera shake. I'm swapping hands so uh, so that's the Sesame Street modification complete. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, pause the video and uh, show you what's in the big boxes underneath and uh, what I do with them. So this is what's inside. Just rather large 2x4 um, storage boxes. Nothing exciting about these um, apart from the fact that uh, I'm building a uh, brick tower with uh, sets in them and um, these two green ones they're going to have the new Ninjago uh, city garden that's what they're for and this blue one that's going to have um, this in there so the idea is I'm going to pack that set up flat pack the box that will fit in here it's been modified so it's not in uh, um, its true form so I'm going to open this up show you what I've done and um, and then uh, put it in its uh, brick tower over there and then you'll get some idea of uh, what my plan is
So this is my uh, Lego Ferris wheel that's been sort of uh, taken out of the box. Like I said, it's heavily modified. I've done a lot of colour changes, added things to the uh, set, pre-built these things because they're boring to build. Uh, I've made a video on this um, showing you what I've done. Of course, I've now got a lot of the original elements and uh, pre-built uh, modified sections. So uh, the idea is all this will uh, go into this box. I'll label it up on the side and it'll go onto the tower. So um, because the, uh, the set itself has been heavily modified, um, I've kind of got um, nearly one and a half times more bricks and elements than, uh, than you would expect because I've virtually rebuilt these in yellow, um, changed the colours of all these, so they're, um, they're in yellow as well, so consequently I have a lot more bricks than you would expect. So uh, with a bit of luck, if I put all this in its uh, rightful place, like I'm trying now, um, you'll understand uh, why I bought such a large box to put this in. Um, I've uh, I've been wanting to buy more and more sets lately, and as a result of this, um, I've found that I've had to flat pack all of my big set boxes and uh, use these um, storage boxes instead. The uh, the downside to it is they're very expensive, and for some reason, some colours cost more than others, which I, I don't really understand. Um, unless, of course, they're uh, limited edition um, sort of uh, colours, which is fair enough. But from my perspective, um, Lego make these uh, these things anyway, so they should all be the same price. So I'm just sort of carefully putting things, hopefully, in the right place. Um, here's my... Uh, pre-built uh, light sections, genuine spare parts, oh, like I can say I've got uh, other things like most of the grey bricks and bits and pieces, um, all these like that. I think after I've made this video I'm going to have to slightly uh, redesign um, how I uh, pack these because otherwise the uh, the height of the load is is higher than this but but the idea is I put everything in this box and then put the lid on label up the side so as you can see what's inside and uh, it should go up there and finally there you have it um, the two boxes there are for the Ninjago set that's coming in uh, hopefully uh, mid-January to the United Kingdom. Um, there's my Ferris wheel. Um, stack that way so it locks these with the rest of it. And there's all my other sets. And the idea is that when I want to build a set down here, for example, I just uh, take this lot off, uh, pick the set I want, and fill the space with another box so it continually rotates. The same for the uh, smaller smaller boxes etc. And uh, that way I can get a lot more um, bricks in my room without having to have a bigger room. And the boxes themselves become flat packed and stored safely in case I want to sell the sets. So uh, I know it's been a long video with uh, different... Um, bits and bobs in here but i thought i would make one video than about three small ones so anyway thank you for watching bye